How y'all doing tonight? Again, this is The Show. I'm Peter Pfeiffer. This is Scott, by the way. He's the front man, lead singer. Aerobics instructor. Aerobics instructor of Fragile Porcelain Mice. As you can see, the man who's in my arms now is wearing a dress. Yes, dress. I do love this man. What is that? I a kilt? Yes. Yeah, no, I think it's some Nuru thing. Some Nuru? Yeah. Okay, so this yeah. is Scott. This is Fragile Porcelain Mice, and they're going to knock your socks off and whatever else you're wearing at the time. So make sure you batten down the hatches and make sure you got the garter belts on or detached. Whatever, the non-smoking light is on. Fragile Porcelain Mice. Thank you. What's the devil yet? What's the devil yet? 
No, no, it was great having you on. You know, uh, we're doing something new tonight, but uh, we'll get to that in a little bit later. Um, Fragile Porcelain Mice, you guys have been playing around town for about how long now? We've been together almost about two years, I guess. Yeah? Mm -hmm. You guys, you, you sound really strong. Where, where do your influences come from? Well, we listen to a whole bunch of different stuff. And, um, yeah. I don't know, just a whole bunch of different stuff. Like, I used to listen to a lot of like, Dead Kennedys and stuff like that. But, right. I don't know. We we all don't. We all listen to a whole bunch of different bands and stuff. So if if if, if someone had to slap a label on you, what would you prefer? Um, we sound like the Bee Gees. <laughs> no, you dress like the Bee Gees. Uh, okay. <laughs> no, I don't know. I don't know. It's labels are so I don't know how to classify. It's just right well that, but that's true though I mean yeah. exactly I mean like I, like I said if, if you if someone had to slap a label on you and that's exactly what they're doing you know I mean it's not fair to label anybody that's true and especially I mean it is rock and roll that's all it Very is true. that's yeah. all it is um, but as fragile porcelain mice what is uh, what is the I don't know the, the crux the, the crux of what you guys are doing the crux of what we're doing uh-huh oh the crux of what we're doing um, what is, what is the meaning behind Fragile Porcelain Mice? What do you guys stand for? What are you together for? We're together for because we all lived in Belleville, and being a band was something to do. These guys used to play in a band called Dementia 13. Uh -huh. I used to be in another band, and they asked me to sing. And it started out just like a side project. And uh, I don't know, it went pretty well, so we decided to stick with it. And, uh, well, speaking speaking of side projects, I know what, 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 there's a couple of interesting day jobs in the band, and, and what what would that be of yours? What would that day job be? Uh, I'm an eighth grade history teacher. You are I'm not. You are not. Yeah, I wouldn't lie to you. You're yeah. teaching eighth grade history. Yeah, yeah, student teaching eighth grade history. The student teaching so I'm eighth not grade. Paid for it. So is the bass player. He's student teaching music at uh, Mascuda High School, Mascuda Junior High School. Yeah. Yeah. I'm in Collinsville. So do you, do you, do you find this fulfilling? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's days when, you know, the kids, they're eighth, like they're eight, well, they're eighth, they're eighth graders, everyone was an eighth grader at one right. time, so they tried to razz you and, you know, get you riled up, but, and they do it very often, you know, very <laughs> often to me, so, I don't know, uh, I like it. You like it? Yeah. What would you rather do? Would you rather teach eighth grade, or would you rather be uh, making some serious money doing what you like to do more? Whatever that is. Uh, that's a tough question, yeah. Yeah, the, I, I hope this goes pretty well. Right. Yeah, I hope this goes pretty well. Well, but I guess I if guess, not, I got something to fall back on. I guess teaching eighth grade and, and being in a in a, in a, a rock band, yeah. it's almost the same thing. Because I mean, you have to you have to hold the the uh, you have to hold somebody's attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You do. You right. Know, I'm like, you know, sometimes I feel like I don't know what I'm going to say and stuff. So I kind of feel awkward at times. But you like the center of attention. Right now, now you, would you wear this to school? No, I would not. I would dress professionally, with a shirt and a tie. A, a tie, really? And, yeah. And this is just like your more casual this wear. This is my yeah. This is my casual wear. I wear this around the house. Right. I usually have high heels, though. <laughs> you know. 
Yeah, and uh, like, I, like I said, we're going to try something new tonight, and uh, it's we're going to try to get some phone calls in. Okay, great. Okay, Fantastic. so how are we doing on the phone calls as of new things? Well, we're, we're getting there. Okay. So, so, Scott, I mean, as, as far as, as far as, you know, the band Fragile Porcelain Mice, what, what do you guys feel like your most successful uh Endeavor's been so far to date. Um, we did pretty well at the uh, the music festival yeah. uh, two weeks ago. That that was really really good. That I we felt pretty confident after that. Right, and you're still having. I mean, I mean, you're approaching it at that point from a business standpoint. Are are you having as much fun as you'd like to do? Oh yeah, I have I have a blast doing this. Yeah. Right. If I didn't do this, I'd probably go insane or something. You know this. <laughs> After, you know, like the other day I was teaching and it wasn't going very well. And we played out over the weekend and I get my aggressions out and stuff. Right. And that helps. Uh, other, either that or become a raging alcoholic. Something. Yeah, yeah, or a heroin addict. Okay, I think I think we got a phone call. Our first phone call. Hello? Caller? Yeah, uh, my name is... Is anybody there? Yeah. Hello? 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 Yeah. Can you hear me? How are you? Yeah, my name is David. Dave, how you doing tonight? Pretty good. Um, I had like a two-part question. A two-part question. Yeah, Hi. I was um, wondering if there was one message that you had to give to the public, if your band had to give to the public, what would it be? Dave, just speak up a little bit, please. All right. I was wondering if uh, your band had to give one uh, general idea to the public, what would it be? What would you know your message be to the public? What, what would the general idea of the band to the public be? Right. And, and, and also, uh, when would they be playing? Are they playing any dates? Okay, what are you guys uh, playing? Are you guys playing sometime soon? Yeah, the second part question is a lot easier. We're playing uh, this coming Saturday at Bernard Pub on the landing. Uh-huh. And uh, I think, I don't know after that. I think we're playing a High Point show the week after. I think it's on a Tuesday right. with Life Without Wayne. And uh, probably another Bernard show in October. But Saturday is the one I know for sure. It's the 25th. Right. Uh, yeah. Dave, Dave, thanks for calling in, Dave. We appreciate the call. And back to the first part of the question, I, I tried to ask you something similar to that earlier. Yeah. What, what, what do you guys, you know, if, if there's one idea you could, you know, push through for p- fragile porcelain mice, what would that be? God, I, that's a hard question. I yeah, never well, answer. Um, I don't know. Um, I like people coming away from the show thinking that we, we you know, we get like, you know, it's energy. We're all right. we're giving off a lot of energy. I hope that everyone goes away thinking that we, we're, you know, we're not out there just, just playing. We're out. There, I mean, I'm out there, you know, and every one of us. Giving it, giving, giving everything you got. Yeah, hopefully, you know, everyone will come away with that idea, and uh, we approach it like that. So. Right. So, so the idea would be to have fun. Uh, yeah. Be careful. Don't hurt anyone. Uh, don't drink and drive. Uh, spade and neuter your pets. <laughs> And uh, that's about it, really. That's it. Well, I think we got another phone call possibly coming up. Well, that's fan- no, we don't. Do okay. We? No, no, we don't. Thank you. Uh, so you guys got a gig coming up at Bernard's Pub? Yeah, twenty fifth. On the twenty fifth mm-hmm. of this month, that's coming up uh, Friday. I think it's Saturday. Saturday. I think Sorry, it's Saturday. Saturday. Playing with a band called Tailspin. They're Tailspin. also from Belleville. They're from Belleville. Yeah. So is there, as far as as far as your your roots being in, in Belleville? Is there is there a scene happening there that? Uh, no, not really. I mean, there's bands from there and right. stuff, but I mean, the, the only band I can really think of is like Uncle Tupelo, and we don't sound anything like Uncle Tupelo. No, They're great. Right. They're great, but I mean, right. you know, it's, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of good bands in Belleville. You guys, you guys, yeah, are are other end of the spectrum from Uncle Tupelo. Yeah, they're great though. They're, they're really cool guys. Yeah. So. Um, phone call. Hey, we do have a phone call. Hello. <laughs> Anybody there? Yeah, a busy tone? This is a new thing, you know. Thanks for calling in. Keep calling in. Keep calling in. We got another phone call. Hold up. Hello? Hello? Hello, Hello this is Steve. We need, we need to have a little more of, of the guy in the, in the box here. Turn him up a little bit. Uh, this is Steve. I was just wondering if Scott knew where my car keys were. <laughs> oh, that's my roommate. Um, yeah, Steve. I think they're probably on the dresser by the sliding uh, glass door. All right. Thanks. Or they may be upstairs on the kitchen table. You have five of them, but okay. I can only find two. Thanks a lot, man. Oh, no problem. Steve. Hey, Steve I'll see you later. Steve, Bye. thanks for calling in and wasting some of our time. That was great. Thanks a whole lot. Scott, you got you got things struggling with your roommate now? Oh uh, yeah, he loses stuff a lot, but um, he's all right. He'll be able to live now. Yeah, he, yeah, he loses his wallet, his keys, and stuff, but he'll be all right. He's a good guy. He's a swell guy. Okay. 
Well, he should, if he was a great guy, he'd be in here rapping chords when the show's done. Uh, yeah, but he's a busy guy. He's a busy yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah. Well, busy people lose things. Exactly. See, remember where your keys are next time you put them down. Yeah. All right, hey, I think you guys got a couple more things you're going to do for us tonight. I, I got a couple more songs, I guess. I think you guys got uh, one or two more songs. One or two up. more songs. Okay, and uh, right now we're going to take a look at uh, a video. Great. Your, fa your personal favorite. Who? I don't know, but it, tell them. It's um, your personal favorite. It's my personal favorite. I recommend it highly. <laughs> Thanks, Scott. Thank you. Appreciate it.